when I set them up, every other person who was registered for the breaking competition was breaking boards. Not one of them wanted to break against them. They all took their name out of the, out of the competition. They said, I don't want to do this. Because they knew if I broke, they would be looking bad in front of their, their students and their friends. I'm breaking one board. I break a board. I break a board. That guy's breaking five bricks. So they all took their names out of the competition. And Fred Villari, Master Villari, uh, talked to Master Dory and said, why don't we have him do it as a demo? Took me out of the competition, let them compete against each other. And he made me one of the centerpieces for the show in the middle of the tournament. Like how we do the tournament today, we have the demo team perform. He made me the only person breaking in front of 10,000 spectators. And I broke them, luckily, so it would have been really embarrassing in front of 10,000 people. Uh, I broke them, and I just saw a little nod afterwards, a master lawyer kind of nodding his head, like, okay, I wasn't sure if he was going to do it, but good job. And that, again, gave me that confidence as the nerd, as the, the geek, as the guy who never really was the strongest and the biggest and the fastest and never was good at sports. I was able to do something that was actually legitimately really, really cool, physical. So with that being said, today I'm going to attempt to break 50 bricks. I've broken them in various ways over the years. A little bit of a kind of hedging my bets today, these bricks are wet. The hard part about breaking bricks is they're concrete. To make it worse, when they're filled with water, they gain about two to three pounds, which makes, if you're talking about physics, makes them have more inertia. They don't want to break. So hopefully, I'll break them all, but if I don't, don't be concerned, I'll only live for a couple of days. <laughs> All right, so thank you. So for the breaking, it's much like a golf shot or watching tennis, it's a highly skilled thing where I'm gonna ask you guys to be quiet. You can cheer if you want to or clap after I break, or if I don't, you can clap, you clap if you want to afterwards. But while I'm doing the, uh, the warm ups and the exercises to get me ready, just if you would please do me a favor and just be quiet, that'd be great, I'd appreciate it. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with a pop. Had a couple of foot stops through seven and eight bricks. I'm going to do four arms right through four this way. Through five and through six. I'm going to do a side kick through six. I'm sorry, through five and then through seven. Is that seven or is that six? That's eight. Uh oh. I'd be one short. Oh, well, that's fine. I'd say that would be five. Pause. Uh, we're in time. Go. You want seven on one? I'm not going yes, numbers. Yeah, you that's seven. <laughs> You're okay. You're only on the There's one knee. I'm going to And then at the end, I'll be attempting the one break that has given me the most uh, difficulty over the years is the dropping elbow. Uh, that's what I'll be doing today. I've done various numbers. And, and hey, why did they get that on here? Uh, we're doing five today because they're wet, so I'm trying to save my elbow from getting too busy. But hopefully I break them all. And uh, when we're done, there's been a tradition lately. If you guys would like, grab the broken bricks. I will sign them, and you can have a little keep them sake if you like. Do uh, we have the markers around the horse? Markers are floating around somewhere. Yeah. What's that? Oh, they're on the, the box back there. Can you grab them, please? Right there on the box, yep. All right, so without further ado, we're going to attempt to break approximately 900 pounds of concrete with my hands.